So I hear you guys love used price performance and right here on the desk we got donated just today two brand new potatoes. Well, they're actually not brand new, but they're used and we're going to refurbish them and switch parts around because I've already got another potato lying around that has a P5Q Deluxe in it and it's got no RAM, but it does have a Core 2 Duo and it does have a Sith cooler. So we can utilize that motherboard since it's a really good uh, LGA775 motherboard. And in the other PC, we've got a Core 2 Quad, a Q9450, I believe, eight gigabytes of DDR2 memory. So we can take that from the Intel board since the Intel board, I believe, doesn't overclock and the VRM doesn't look that good either. Take those components, put on the P5Q Deluxe. We've now got a solid entry-level gaming PC, in my opinion. We're gonna put that to the test later. And then on the other end of the spectrum, with these parts we've got left over, we can try and make something that'll just play Fortnite, since I do have four one gigabyte sticks of DDR2, do have a GTX 750, a real low-end power supply, and also a 160 gigabyte hard drive. So we're gonna make magic with that. That'll be the third PC. And then also on the desk here, we've got a P7 P55D. I love this motherboard. It's a real good solid mid-range uh, P55 LGA 1156 motherboard. So we're gonna be putting a Xeon X3440 in that, as well as a cooler from ID Cooling. This is an SE207. And in Australia, I don't know where else they sell this cooler, but they're selling it in Australia for 49 AUD. Twin tower cooler, two fans, and I'm gonna see how that performs. So let's get on with refurbishing these three potatoes. So this case here, it's a little bit special. So I'm gonna sideline this for another project in the future and get back to working on these other two cases and builds. So we pulled this whole build apart now and we've got this Sith cooler here. It's just got metal shavings in it, which I've, I don't think I've seen this before. The amount of metal shavings coming off this thing is incredible. So we're gonna get the brush out, just brush it down, give it a hammering and then hopefully start putting this PC back together and we would have had the first potato completed. So we've just completed giving this motherboard some tech. Yes, loving, and it's looking really good. But before we put in a build, we just wanna make sure everything's running right. And we can do this with inside the BIOS itself. And I'm glad I did. The CPU temperatures are looking okay, but this motherboard won't work with eight gigabytes of uh, memory installed. It'll only work at the moment with two gigabytes. So just gonna quickly update the BIOS and then hopefully that'll fix the RAM compatibility issue. And then we're gonna drop it in the build and finish it. So right here we've got a uh, rusty front panel still, even after giving a good wire brushing. So we're gonna do the good old trusty uh, marker and just uh, start coloring it in. So there it is guys, one potato is finished. Let's get on to completing these others. So the second build is now complete. We've got this massive cooler on board, a GTX 780 Ti, and we're gonna start doing some overclocking. But while we're doing some overclocking, we're gonna build the third PC now with a case that has been lying around for months and months. And the last time I used this Dell case, 
things were shorting out and they just weren't working properly but since it's a real budget build anyway we're going to give it a shot So here's the last build, and this one is the most potato out of all potatoes, but it uh, just keeps boot cycling, and um, the fan will just instantly turn off. I believe it's the case. I've even put rubber grommets underneath four of the end screws to lift it off, but it still does it, so I'm going to take it out of the case and see if it boots then, and if it does, then this case is just cursed, and it must not be used. It's going in the bin forever, but if it does boot, if it doesn't boot again, sorry, then it... <laughs> might be a faulty motherboard so let's find out so i was up late last night and i had some problems with this computer it was so painstakingly hard to get this thing to work so first of all these memory sticks they only work in this configuration to get four gigabytes if i had it in the other way around it wouldn't boot it'd give three beeps uh, also this uh, case right here this dell that i pulled out of the garage that was just really dirty and stuff the power button itself was causing this whole build to short out, so I had to rip the wire out of one of these to then use the power button on the front. Also, the USB ports were so rusted out that I had to just pull them all out because if I plugged them up to the motherboard, it would short out the computer. Uh, but everything is running now, but there's just one more problem with this PC, and that is that this hard drive here, the 160 gigabyte, it's just so slow. Like, it does nothing. Here's... Here's it like, I'll close this browser down and I'll try and open it up again. And it just takes so long to do anything. It's really painful to the point where I don't even know if this thing will like load Overwatch because I wanted to try and sell it as an Overwatch PC. Uh, but I don't even think it'll do that. So I might just sell it for parts since it does have a GTX 750 in it. I'll see how it goes. Like I'll try and get Overwatch working. Uh, sorry, not Overwatch, I mean Fortnite. I'll try and get Fortnite working. And if that doesn't work, then yeah, it'll just be a for sale for parts or I might try and put a one terabyte in. I don't know. Oh, but I will, even if I have to come back tomorrow. And finally, here we are at the table with these three PCs. And this one has a little bit of a story because I did end up putting a one terabyte hard drive in and it fixed that real sluggish, slow response. So basically this hard drive here is done. It's gonna go in the bin. Uh, but the GTX 750, four gigabytes of DDR2 and this quad core here, the 9400 and this motherboard that I don't even wanna bother overclocking and this real mediocre power supply. This managed to get uh, Fortnite at 1080p running at 80 to 100 FPS and it was really smooth, providing it was the only game open and Windows has been optimized. But that's a good selling point because I'll now be able to easily get around 200 Australian dollars for this PC. And it's just awesome because you're making something out of something that otherwise a lot of people would just throw out or discard or just say, no, it's completely useless. But you make these parts together and make synergy and even though it took a lot of troubleshooting, especially with the DDR2, and also a lot of troubleshooting with these power connectors and getting this case working, I kind of really enjoyed this one the most out of these three PCs. I mean, providing it did work in the end. Sometimes it does get very frustrating and it doesn't work. But this one here, right beside it, this is very interesting because uh, this was that new cooler from uh, ID Cooling. Now, I did try their water coolers in the past. And honestly, they looked cool, but they weren't that good for performance. This air cooler looks like it's really good for performance. I did put the thermo imaging camera on it. It was staying very cool. It was actually pretty quiet as well. And on this Xeon, unfortunately, I could only get up to 3.8 gigahertz because the motherboard sort of topped out after that. Uh, going to 200 base clock just really presented problems. It kept blue screening, kept crashing, tried changing the IMC voltage, dropped the QPI transport speed down as well, tried all different voltages and even dropping the memory down to 1200 megahertz. Wouldn't make a difference, it just wouldn't go any higher. So 3.8 gigahertz unfortunately is the most with the Xeon X3440 and that's why I do like, as I said in the past, the X3470 as you get that extra flexibility regardless of your motherboard not being able to go that high. So GTX 780 Ti 
this thing here is performing. And actually the best thing about this cooler is it's in Australia. I don't know where else it's sold in the world. In Australia, it's 49 Australian dollars from uh, PLE, I believe at the moment. That's an absolute bargain for this cooler. Uh, but the case itself, it looks so clean as I said before. Really digging this whole build considering it's ketchup and mustard and it's sort of like there's nothing else to the case. Uh, there's no cable management options. I think it came out really clean. Let me know what you think in the comments with this build. Uh, of course, I look forward to doing more tests with the X3430 versus the X3440 as well, possibly with this 780 Ti. But last up here, we have the build. Uh, this is sort of like the spare parts that were better than the other build. We ended up putting a 7870 on this build because the GTX 750 did not work. Uh, so now we've got 8GB of DDR2 and also we've got this uh, Sith cooler. So I will start overclocking this and also uh, put a 20 centimeter fan on as well as no fan doing sort of like a cool comparison for people on a budget who can't afford uh, fancy cases with three fans at the front and mesh panels. Uh, just to see how much extra performance or extra cooling you can get from a budget cooler. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this one, refurbishing potatoes. You can really make something out of uh, nothing, especially if you've got the tools and the WD-40 and wire brushes and sort of uh, just cloths and a little bit of patience, cotton buds, all that good stuff. I even got a little brush for some of the fins as well, but here they are. They're all working and they're all gonna be coming in uh, separate videos as well, doing some cool little tests with that. So stay tuned for that, well, at least these two builds anyway. And if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comment section below if you want to see any more tests, especially with these three PCs, and I'll be sure to make it happen for you. And I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.